students today i will solve some mcq of chapter 1 which chapter name is pattern class 8 and subject is mathematics so if you want to open your math books uh, to be easy actually the first number is one number in the formation of magic square of order 3 is one number here given some information the one number the magic number will be 15 at the center the number in the small square will be 5 and this in the small squares the integer 1 to 15 are set so now we need to check this one in the formation of magic square of order 3 means 3 into 3 that means order of 3 means 3 into 3 3 3 are 9 so 9 is smallest square we need so now we will check first uh, the is it which one is correct actually so here given which one of the following is the correct uh, there are some option a b c and t so now first we will check this one so uh, already i told that means uh, three order that means three into three here uh, three into three that means one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine smallest square right there are nine smallest square now we have to place uh, from 1 to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 number I have placed here now count this one the magic number actually if you want to make this magic number just so if you divide this square in three parts along its length and breadth we get nine smallest square right in this case 15 is the magic number how and if you arrange the number 1 to 9 horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, okay, at this one, then the sum will be the same, that means 15. That's why 15 is a magic square of order 3. Just add this one, 2 plus 7, 9, 9 plus 6, 15 this one is horizontally diagonally anyway you can add this one you will get 15 so 15 is a magic number we can write so that means one number is correct one number is correct and at the center the number in the small square will be five now check here in the center actually anyway however you will place this number one to nine uh, this number that means five this five will be at center that means this five so that means this one is a correct also now three number in the small squares the integers one to fifteen are set now check here this is smallest square uh, have I uh, have I said 1 to 15 here I have said I have set it 1 to 9 so 3 number is not correct we can write like this so but uh, if you want to find the magic square the another method we can show you to find a magic number how to find the magic number if order of 3 so at that time if order of 3 this formula is n into n square plus 1 by 2 so if this one is three so that means you have to place like this three into three square plus one by two and so it will be three into ten by two so just divide by then you will get 15. right magic number is also 15 because this order is three so when you get like this quotient order three order four just use this formula then you will get what will what will be the magic number and uh, the center what who, which number you can can you place this one so answer will be the correct answer will be this one that is number a so the next two question two question number two now see which one of the flowing terms will be divisible by nine maybe you uh, you have learned in class six the divisibility rule 
So now check here given some option A, B and C and D but uh, this one is 52 plus 25 and this one is also plus this one plus this one is subtraction. So first we will check 52 plus 25 is what 77. You know the divisibility rule of 9 is if we add that means if we add the uh, of digits some this digit if we add then whatever you will get if this number is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 so here 77 so the sum of digit that means 7 plus 7 it will be 14 so 14 is not divisible by 9 so the number is not divisible by 9 right so the same way we can find this p number so first you have to add this one 1252 we get the sum of digit 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 it will be 10 and 10 is not divisible by 9 so the number is not divisible by 9 now d number will check uh, so the c number uh, 412 plus uh, 234 is equal to 646 so sum of digit first now this digit 6 plus 4 plus 6 if you add then you will get 16 so 16 is divisible by 9 not so the number is not divisible by 9 the same way just to find this d number and 75 minus 57 is equal to 18 and 18 is divisible by 9 right so the correct answer is d i hope you understood this one now three number question in which algebraic expression 9999 is the hundredth term now there are some option a b and c and d so this hundred term means that means you have to place is equal to of a who is one this one will be term in algebraic expression you know the some formula now we'll check this one actually so in if a number so if you place uh, a is equal to hundred because you are given the hundred term so if i place the value of a is equal to hundred so hundred into 99 that means this one and plus one first you have to multiply then you will add then you will get 9901 so this one is not correct now b number will check so same way 99 into 100 minus 1 so first you have to multiply then subtract then you will get 9899 again c number will check so 100 is square because here given the a square plus 1 so just place the value of a that means 100 100 is square plus 1 this one, this one. And D number also 100 is square minus 1, then 100 is square minus 1, it will be 9999. So the correct answer will be D. Okay, next three uh, phone numbers. So, what is the sum of A number series of normal odd numbers? You do not understand this question okay some option here given a and b and c and t i'm explaining that means here what is the sum of a number series a number means here how many number are there suppose this normal odd number one plus three plus five plus seven is equal to what i got 16 right so a number series means how many number here one two three four right so just write four number how many number are there four number so normal odd number that means this series one three five seven like this seven nine eleven like this way so at that time how many numbers are you uh, have you got this suppose i have written only the phone numbers that's why i have written four one three five seven and now if you add this one what you get 16 but this one you will you will cut easily just how many number four so four is scale just give this four is scale so what will be four is scale is equal to 16 so no need to add like this way so this one that's why what is the sum of the a number series of normal odd number it will be a square that means four is scale a square means how many number are there four numbers so four is equal to 16 so answer will be c okay next five numbers so how many integers from 1 to 100 can be expressed as the sum of two squared numbers so here given a 10 b 20 c 34 and d 50 
in your match book in C number here given 35. Actually, this one is wrong. Okay, let's check actually how many uh, integer numbers 1 to 100 can be expressed as the sum of 2 square. As the sum of 2 square means like this way. Suppose here given 1 square plus 1 square. First one I have written 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 2. So sum of 2 square numbers. So 1 is square number, 1 is square number. Sum of 2 square number, it will be 2. So 1 square, 2 square, 1 square, 3 square, 1 square, 4 square, 1 square, 5 square, 1 square, 6 square, 1 square, 7 square, 1 square, 8 square, 1 square, 9 square. Here you got 82 also, 9, 9 year, 81 and plus 1. That means 1 square is equal to 1. So we can write 82. So how many number are there? So here given 1 to 100. Okay, so the others number is like this one already I have written the one plus something two plus something three plus something and four plus something and five then seven but if you if you write eight plus something it will be more than hundred so but here given only one to hundred can be expressed as the sum of two square numbers but here how many numbers 34 not here are 37 but some are same now which one is same here is 50 and there is also 50 now check the number is 50 is double times right and the other number 65 and 65 is double time and another number is 85 and 85 is double times so 37 minus 3 what will be 34 so the total number that means um the sum of two square numbers it will be 34 so answer will be c number according to the stimuli the answer to the question on six and seven so here given this uh, small squares so in uh, here given the question what should be the right number in the square mark a this square mark a actually what will be the right number so first we can check which one if we add this vertically suppose 12 plus 90 plus 14 what will be if you add then you will get 45 now if you add this one the lowest number this 16 plus 11 plus 18 what will be it is also 45 so that is the magic number is 45 it's very easy so now 17 if we add this one 17 plus 13 it will be 30 so we have uh, we need to make this one is also 45 to make the is uh, magic right magic number so which number we have to add obviously 15 because 30 plus 15 it will be 45 so we can write in the right number in the square mark will be 15 because 17 plus 13 it will be 30 30 plus 15 will be 45 so then answer will be c and in the magic square what uh, what is the magic number already we got this magic number is 45 right because when you add vertically horizontally okay you will get 45 all also diagonally so the answer will be d number correct answer will be d now eight number the sum of the first three or t integer is here given the square number odd number and prime number which one of the following is correct here is some there are some option so first three odd integer that means first three odd integer which one first three odd integer one plus three plus five this this one this three number is first three integer odd integer so the, uh, one plus three plus five is equal to what nine here given the sum here given the sum that's why you have to find it this one 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 9. So this 9 actually what type of number? 9 is the square number. 9 is a square number, right? 9 is the square number because 3, 3 and 9. We can find out the square root of 9, then it will be 3. So that's, that's why you can tell this uh, uh, 9 is the square number. And 9 is also odd number, right? 9 is also odd number but nine is prime number no 
because it is divisible by the other number that means three so it is not prime number so one and two option is correct so answer will be answer will be uh, a number and i hope this uh, video actually is uh, is benefited for you uh, if you uh, if you want to share that means it will be benefited the other students so so please uh, share this one and and you can subscribe my channel also too